Good evening. Today I'd like to talk about reading inch micrometer with 1000th inch resolution. What we have here in this photo, we have a micrometer with the same specification. So the value of the resolution is already shown on the frame. And also we have the value of the range, which is between zero up to one inch. So any external dimension on any workpiece, simply this micrometer is capable of reading this dimension. So as you can see here, we have two scales. The first scale lies on the sleeve and the second one lies at the edge of the thimble. So in order to understand how to read the total reading of any micrometer of the same specification, we should know how to read the lines on the two scales. Let's start with the sleeve scale. As you see here, the micrometer is completely open. So the full range of this micrometer is shown. The sleeve scale starts with zero up to the last line, which is zero or one inch. So this value is simply one inch. And this one inch is divided equally to 10 partitions. So the value of each partition is simply one tenth of an inch. So now we can know how to read the main lines on the sleeve scale. For example, this line is line zero. This line is one tenth of an inch. This line, this line is two tenths of an inch, three tenths of an inch, four tenth, five tenth, up to one inch, which is the last line on the sleeve scale. So this is the way how to read the main lines on the sleeve scale. If you see here, the one partition is simply divided into four equal divisions. So this value, which is one tenth of an inch, is divided equally to four partition. So the value of one partition, which is the least reading here on the sleeve scale, is simply can be computed by divided the one tenth of an inch by four, which is the number of partitions. So the value will be 0 0.025 of an inch. So the minimum reading on this sleeve scale is simply 0 0.025 of an inch. So now we can simply know how to read any line on the sleeve scale. For example, this line is line number zero inch. The first line, which is the closer, closer to the zero line is 0 0.025. This line is line 0 0.050. This line is 0 0.075. And this is one tenth of an inch. And because the total reading of this micrometer contains three decimal places, it's better to add two zeros right to the one. So it becomes 0.100 of an inch. This line is line 0.125 of an inch. This line is line 0.225, this line is 0 0.450, this line is 0 0.625, this line is 0 0.750, this line is 0 0.850, and the last line is simply one inch. So it's 1.000 of an inch. So this is the way how to read the lines on the sleeve scale. Now we should understand how to read the lines on the thimble scale. So for any inch micrometer, 
the number of graduations of the thimble scale is 25 graduations so the edge of the thimble is divided equally to 25 partitions and each partition the number or the order of this line is already shown so for example this line is the second line it is red 0 0.002 of an inch line number three is red 0 0.003 line number four 0 0.004 etc line number nine it's 0 0.009 so this is the way how to read the lines on the thimble scale. Now we can simply know how to determine the total reading for any micrometer. Let's take this example here. Let's start first read the sleeve scale. So as you know, we consider the edge of the thimble to be the reference for reading the sleeve scale. So the last line shown on the sleeve is simply this line. So what's the reading of this line? As you know, from the zero line up to this line, is simply it is three tenths, which is the same as 3.300 of an inch and we have an addition of two smallest divisions so each division is equal to 0 0.025 so the reading of this line is simply 0 0.350 of an inch so this is the reading of the sleeve scale so the sleeve reading is 0.350 of an inch now we should read the thimble scale so we can simply consider this line to be the reference line in order to read the thimble scale so this reference line is aligning with this line this line is simply the line number 10 on the thimble so it is read as 0 0.010 of an inch so the thimble reading is 0 0.010 of an inch so the total reading is the addition of these two value so the total reading is simply 0 0.360 of an inch let's take this another example as you see here the last line appear on the sleeve scale is this line and this line is simply 0 0.250 of an inch which is equal to quarter of an inch so the sleeve reading is quarter of an inch or 0.250 of an inch regarding the thimble reading this is the reference line this reference line lines up with this line and this line is line number 14 so it's read as 0 0.014 of an inch so the thimble reading is 0 0.014 of an inch so the total reading of this micrometer is the addition of these two values so the reading is 0.264 of an inch let's see this example as you see here the edge of the thimble is completely passing the this line simply because the zero line on the thimble lies below the reference line so we can simply conclude that the edge of the thimble is completely passes the line this line so this line is line point 100 of 0 0.100 of an inch so this is the sleeve reading now we should read the thimble reading this is the reference line it lines up with the second line on the thimble so this line is 
line 0 0.002 of an inch so this is the thimble reading so the total reading is the addition of these two values so it's 0 0.102 inch let's see this example first of all we should read the sleeve scale the line we should read on the sleeve scale is this line not this line this line is partially shown but we don't know whether the edge of the thimble passes this line or it doesn't reach this line simply we can understand this by looking at the zero line reference to the index or this line so as you see here the zero line lies above the reference line so we conclude that the edge doesn't pass this line so we should read this line the reading of this line is simply 0.325 of an inch so this is the sleeve reading regarding the thimble reading this is the reference line it lines up with line number 24 so line number 24 is read 0 0.024 so this is the thimble reading so the total reading now is the addition of these two values so the reading here is 0.349 of an inch let's read this last micrometer here as you see here the edge of the thimble is completely passes the zero line on the sleeve scale simply you can make this decision by looking at the zero line on the thimble reference to this line the zero line lies below the reference line so the sleeve reading is this line and this line is line zero so the sleeve reading is zero inch now we should read the thimble scale so this is the reference line lines up with the fourth line on the thimble so the fourth line is read as 0 0.004 of an inch so this is the thimble reading so the total reading is simply 0 0.004 of an inch let's simply talk about the value of the resolution which is 0 0.004 zero zero one of an inch how this value of a resolution comes if we rotate the thimble one full rotation the spindle advances by point zero twenty five of an inch so again if we revolve the thimble one full rotation so the 25 graduations on the thimble advances the spindle by this value which is 0 0.025 so each division on the thimble we can simply compute for it by dividing the 0 0.025 divided by number of graduation which is 25 so this is the value of the advance of the spindle and this is the number of graduations on the edge of the thimble so if you compute for this value you will get the value of the resolution which is 0 0.001 of an inch so this is the way how the value of the resolution comes that's all about reading the 
inch micrometer. In the next presentation, I will talk about the inch vernier micrometer. Thanks for your watching. Goodbye.